Hello. So, I'm going to be talking to you about something that I feel like I could not find the answer to online. Um, so, hopefully, this will be helpful. I wanted to know how to set up my Reaper and have someone on the other side to hear me. Basically, I needed more control for my EQ and my compressor. I don't like how my voice sounds like. Um, so I'm using Reaper as my DAW and I'm using a voice meter as sort of like my virtual mixer and then my destination could be anywhere really. In this case, I have it set up to Discord, to OBS or Streamlabs and I could also use it for um, Zoom. So to get this started, I would recommend you check out voice meter and virtual cable links below in the description if you want some. Um, and a basic understanding of signal flow. Basically, you need to know um, how to connect your Reaper to voice meter, right? So um, I would recommend starting from your virtual mixer. I'm a sound engineer and this is where I would start in real life. Um, I start out with what are the inputs that I need and then where do I want them to go, which is, you know, your output setup. So in this case, I have two inputs. I have one for myself. Uh, I label here audio for myself because I need to see it out loud in front of me that, so I don't get confused. And then the second one, audio for others. Now, audio for myself, I'm only going to set it up for my own monitoring. So this is going to output A and output A, I'm setting it up as focus, right? I'm using a Scarlett. This is just for me to use with my headphones. That's it. Really basic stuff. And then input two, I'm using virtual cable and then I'm routing it out to the virtual output. And then from here, I can send it to anywhere I want. So what's coming in from virtual um, cable? Um, in this case, it will be my Reaper. Here's how it looks like on Reaper. Basically, you want to make sure that your input is set to your preferred device. Um, in this case, I'm using my USB mic and then your output is set to your virtual cable. So do that and then you'll be able to have your signal going out into voice meter. Okay, so sorry for that quick uh, interchange between um, a recorded vocal and also a live recorded vocal. Um, basically, this is how I set up from my Reaper and then on my tracks, I just have one vocal um, track and then one reverb track. Honestly, this reverb track is just for when I want to have fun and add something musical to it. This is how I sound like with reverb. It's very loud. It's very echoey to how um, some people would describe it. And this is how I sound like without EQ and compressor. Super basic stuff. I'm just adding a little bit of body to my voice. I like the sound of my voice having a bit more body. And then I have my compressor here. Um, I, I have quite a wide dynamic range, I would say, when I'm talking to my friends. Um, so I want to make sure that I don't sound too crazy. Um, basically, that's how I set it up. So Reaper is going into voice meter via a virtual cable. And then from, from here, I'm routing it out to the virtual output. I can, if I want to, listen it on my Scarlet, but you have to understand when there's a lot of um, routing going on, there's bound to be latency, and I don't like it. It's It messes me up, it's ruining my thought process, and I'm talking really slow because it's weird. It's weird. So I'm turning it off, right? Okay. Uh, so then on your Discord or um, your OBS or any de destination you want, you have to make sure that your input device is set to voice meter output. And then obviously your listening device will be any one that you want. Um, you can also do this on OBS, which is what I've set up here. It's directly from voice meter, so you can hear the difference. And um, you can also use it on Zoom or Skype or anywhere you want, just as long as your input for your audio is set to voice meter output. Um, another cool thing about this virtual cable on um, my input too is that I could also send sounds from my laptop. So in this case, I have 
Spotify sort of set up for you. I'm listening to Bruno Major right now. Okay, right now it's set to my focus right because I'm listening. I was listening to um, Bruno Major, so I'm going to play a little bit. Um, and you will hear it via your uh, my virtual cable. And I'm going to play it. And that's what it sounds like. Right? It's super chill. I'm going to hear how it sounds like. Yep. You're vibing with me basically right now with Bruno Major. I'm going to turn this off this latency. It's weird. Okay. So the, um, that's what you can do with virtual cable. Knock yourself out. Go and explore all the things that you can do. Hopefully you'll have fun. And... Yeah, I'm going to change it back to speaker now because I want to listen to Bruno Major. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. Um, I'm not really a pro at this, but I, I like doing this. I like figuring things out, see what else I can do with all the cool apps and tools out there and see, you know, how can I elevate mainly... Um, a church online service with a DAW like this. I don't know. I haven't really thought it out, but I just wanted to explore ex ex I just wanted to explore possibilities, you know, and I wasn't able to look for my answers online, so this is what I came up with. I don't know how others do it, but feel free to link me if anyone's doing anything different, but this is how I do it and it's working for me. I hope you like the video.